Only on to tonight, a middle school student beaten up so badly he had to be taken to the hospital. His father is demanding justice for his son, who he says was just playing around at Pete Junior High School when things got out of hand. Sion Rhodes joining us now with that family story. This all started with a pool noodle in PE class. The victim admits he hit someone with it, but he didn't expect what came next, and his parents say he didn't deserve it. 13-year-old Matthew thought he'd be out Monday night wearing his Jason mask and carrying a knife with fake blood. I was planning to go trick-or-treating. Instead, he's home wearing a shirt with real blood on it and some pretty scary injuries to his face. I was hurting. Matthew says he was swinging a pool noodle during gym class at Pete Junior High School Monday when he struck another student. We were playing around and I hit a guy. Not a hard hit, it was just kind of like a joke hit. And he got all mad. But the other student didn't think it was funny. He started beating me up. My stomach hit the floor. The school called Matthew's dad saying he was in such bad shape he needed to go to the ER. It was so bad he couldn't even open his eyes. When we got to the hospital you could see a shoe print on the side of his face. They had a slight concussion, bloody, braced up, neck brace, I mean just bad. Matthew's dad says the school won't tell him anything about the student behind the attack or whether he'll be disciplined. Is he going to be back tomorrow? Is he going to do it again? He's filed a police report and hopes the school does what he thinks is the right thing. I don't think the kids should be back allowed to this school for this school year. We reached out to Conroe ISD for a comment on this case. They told us they weren't aware of the incident. In Conroe, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.